Hi everyone, I'm so excited to show you a new workflow I've been working on. I'm still working from home here in Toronto, so everything I'm going to show you today can be done remote. As long as you have an internet connection and an ArcGIS Online login, you'll be able to follow along today. I will be comparing vegetation health using two different images from before and after the wildfire event in Lytton, BC. It's really interesting stuff, so let's jump right in and I'll share my screen. The first step is finding our data. I'm going to be using Sentinel-2 Level 2A data that is located in the Living Atlas. And we'll add this straight to our map viewer. This imagery is updated every single day with new images that date back to 2015. So we'll have to go through and filter our results to find an image from before and after the fire event. I'm applying a filter based on the acquisition date and I can also filter based on cloud cover as well. Once I've found the images I'd like to use, I can add them to the map as a new layer. And I perform the same workflow to find our second image from after the wildfire. Now that we have our imagery, let's compare vegetation health. I'm going to do this by altering the image display on both images. The Living Atlas data has some pre-built renderers applied. And we're going to look at the color infrared renderer today, where we'll see healthy vegetation in dark red and unhealthy or unvegetated areas are going to show up in lighter red or green. And I've applied this to the second image as well. So now we're able to compare. Let's take a closer look at how the vegetation health changed from before and after the fire event. And this is in a swipe map that we can now share throughout our organization or social media channels. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for part two, where we'll look at a burn severity analysis all in ArcGIS Online.